Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And, you know, there's an interesting question that uh, pops up. And um, we talked about drivers. And, you know, the model that uh, Windows is using is that you have the operating system. And for those that wonder what drivers are all about, drivers are the software that explains how hardware works to Windows. So Windows in itself is just an operating system, but it needs instructions. It needs your hardware to tell it, this is how I work and this is how we communicate together. And that's why in the device manager, you have all of these drivers. So in a normal system, you have all of these fine like this here, nothing you know out of the ordinary. And each of these options, each of these uh, categories or devices have their little software that will actually help Windows use them. And of course, uh, the problem with that, and this is the question, um, you know, are drivers a double-edged sword? Yes, it can be. Because the fact that drivers are making your hardware work Drivers can also have bad sides. You know, we talk about bad drivers that crash Windows, for example. And actually, the majority of the time, when Windows crashes, it's not a Windows problem. It's either software or a bad driver uh, or hardware. 99% of Windows crashes are absolutely have nothing to do with Windows. Um, lots of people think, well, you know, it's Windows. That's why it crashes. Nope. Windows is extremely rock solid. The drivers, though, can be a huge problem, and especially on new systems. When I hear somebody tell me, oh, well, I got a new computer with all new hardware, that's even worse. The newest hardware is often the one that crashes the most. And one of the reasons behind this is simply because it hasn't settled down. There was not enough use to actually finally have the good drivers that are the stable drivers for that hardware. So often a new system with new hardware, it'll take a year maybe to settle down and work fine because the manufacturers will actually create the perfect drivers that work well. Um, so that's one bad side, but the other bad side is, yes, a driver can prevent you from moving on to another version of Windows. So a driver that works with your hardware might be the blocker for uh, upgrade to 22H2 of Windows 11, for example, or a new version of Windows 10, moving from 21H1 um, to something else. One such driver right now is the Intel uh, sound drivers that still are blockers on Windows 10 and Windows 11 and that the manufacturers have to actually fix. But some of these drivers come through the manufacturer of the PC. If the PC has a certain age, they're not updated anymore. Uh, this is also another problem with drivers. Manufacturers are way too quick at abandoning uh, upgrades of drivers for devices. Uh, I think there should be a minimum of time, and it should be longer than what manufacturers are giving. So that's why in a system, you might look at a driver, and you might say, so I'm going to look at this driver here and look at the details uh, or the driver and it says oh this is so uh, first of october 2019 and there's nothing more recent than that so we're stuck here with a driver that definitely probably works well but the fact that you know a lot of the drivers and a lot of the things that all the hardware of the pc get kind of abandoned so this is a three-year-old driver there are other devices that of course work and have updates that are more frequent uh, an example here is display adapters um, might have drivers that are much more frequent so here it is 6th october 2022 and i believe there's a new one now so um you know depending on the drivers depending on the hardware definitely drivers can also be something bad can also create problems or prevent upgrades if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.